Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Oracle and Tarot reading. This is for the week of June 12th to the 18th, a little midweek pick-me-up. How have you all been doing? Uh, I'm excited for what this rest of June holds for us. I feel like astrologically too there's so many keep hearing in this way too, like closing of doors or portals that we've been working on, healing and things that we've been even, I'm hearing like ruminating on, we're allowing ourselves time to fully step into a new doorway, I'm hearing, step into a new light, step into that identity that we're feeling more connected to than ever before, or even beginning to take like the babiest of steps along our journey which is so exciting so let's go in with the tarot after the oracle deck and see what our messages are for this week sorry my brain kind of i've been having like these little um it's almost like weird flashes of things taking me to different almost feels like timelines different places so Interesting. We're timeline jumping, I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. Got one card coming out. Let's get a couple more and see what is meant for us. I keep hearing the integration of the Gemini new moon as well. It was very much around balancing our duality, our identities shifting. Ooh, interesting. So we get the Trust Your Intuition card, again, the number three, creativity. And we get it with the Libra card. The Libra affirmation is, the relationship to myself and others easily finds balance and divine love. <sighs> More balancing. I keep hearing it's trickling down into our the fabric of our being, and that is how we're balancing more of our intuition. So listening to how we need to keep moving as we're balancing, as we're shifting. I'm hearing especially around love and relationships. How we even love ourselves because our intuition can sometimes, I'm hearing, be get lost in translation around when we're breaking out of comfort zones, our intuition can sometimes feel like a little too outgoing, if you will, or too pushing us out of what we feel comfortable with. Got one more card. It's so interesting. I'm feeling that there's like a vision coming through of um, someone sitting out in nature and just staring into the forest, staring into this new place, like the next step of the journey. And we got the divine guidance card coming out right on top of trust your intuition. So you will be guided about what your intuition is or when it's coming up because I keep hearing too, it's, I think we're always trying to discern fully what is our intuition saying based off what are maybe old programmings, what are, our ego saying to us, right? So trust that there's guidance coming through to support and to back your intuition. The guidance, or that sorry, the affirmation is, my soul is in alignment to receive downloads and guidance from divine source energy. I follow the direction of my intuition. How pretty is that all together? Ah. So that's where I'm seeing this vision too, as well of sitting and just kind of absorbing the downloads absorbing the now moment before the next leg of the journey that vision of someone being maybe you can go out into nature and actually look on a new pathway that you haven't traveled before or go internally and envision what that is or what that's looking like i'm hearing even writing that down and maybe it's even with partnerships Maybe you're starting a new relationship and you've been needing to trust your intuition more because old fight or flight energy is coming up. Like I'm <clears throat> even having trouble speaking. So 
It could be hard to communicate what you need out of fear of being hurt, fear of being misunderstood, but trust that if you're meant to talk about it, if that's what you're in or the example that's coming forward, that you will get guidance about how to fully approach it. And yeah, my throat's like closing up. So it could even be like saying something out loud to yourself even. Um, because in this way too, I've been noticing on a collective level, we're all leveling up in terms of even what we know we deserve or what we're allowing ourselves to receive. So it could be also that you're in a very healthy relationship, but it's scary. It's scary because you're used to toxicity, you're used to trying to save people, you're used to being the empathic, sensitive soul, taking care of everybody, but it's scary to receive love or it's scary to not have chaos, right? It's safe to be in the love and receive the love and to trust that even if it seems like an intuition of like run, and maybe it is run, right? So we're gonna, we're dissecting it. So ask for signs from the universe, guidance, right? But most of the time I'm hearing, it, it's the inner dialogue, it's the inner psyche of fight or flight or the ego trying to protect, trying to also get fed in the way of the chaos, in the way of this is how I've always handled situations, this is how I know I can show up and it's safe even though I, I may not feel very loved but I'm seeing signs of I'm lovable after I people please or make someone happy in some way, right? Yeah, we get the water card. The affirmation is the water of my body and of earth flow in healing waves of love and unity, purifying stagnant emotions and frequencies. So when it comes to listening to our intuition, I love all this blue coming forward. Our memories hold in ways of safeguarding ourselves, right? Because if we remember and protect ourselves along the way, we'll survive or we can predict how to handle chaos, if this makes sense. So what I'm hearing too in this way, even letting yourself connect with water in a way of purifying, either that's with the sh taking a shower or a bath or even drinking water with an intention of it helping to relax your nervous system or even just giving yourself more love to receive if that's something you're struggling to connect to or even in the way of helping to purify the memories so that you can live more freely live more intentionally with the intuition and the guidance and less with the old fight or flight or programming wow i feel like getting one more oracle card and then we'll go into the tarot and see what else is meant to come through um, this feels like a very specific message, so take it as it resonates, and if it doesn't, that's okay, but I'm, I'm seeing it in this way, too, as we're shifting into new identities or in even balancing the duality of things, it's this huge leveling up of discernment, leveling up and purifying our, our bodies, because, again, the, our bodies hold memories. It holds, like, 73% water, right? So it's... I'm hearing in this way there's justice with a Libra energy coming forward, justice about helping us break these cycles. I'm hearing generational trauma, allowing things to shift, and it happens organically when we trust. Trusting the intuition, trusting the guidance. And it's even going to be like the most subtle of shifts, but it will be... So profound we won't I keep hearing our human minds won't know how to put it into words like even the vision I'm getting I can't really fully put into words but it's beautiful it's this like oops, she, ah, she fell on the ground it's a crystalline upgrade so we're literally like it's brand new energy it's more of your magic it's more of your galactic frequencies coming online it's the these healings happening like instantaneously and shifting beautiful 
The affirmation is, I release old patterns and outdated constructs that are now ready to be transformed. I allow crystalline codes, crystalline light codes to upgrade my system. So this can even be, again, when we've set an intention with water or anything we work with, even taking a shower, setting the intention that helps us cleanse and be upgraded so we can have more space to receive upgrades. And this even can just be receiving more love, receiving support, receiving the guidance, the divine guidance, and not just the old guidance. I'm hearing and seeing kind of too, maybe you're also changing who's in your inner circle. And that way too, it's more of a aligned group of people to support you that holds a higher intention for you and not just this trying to keep you safe or their fears, their programming, projecting onto you, if that makes sense. So there's a lot happening this week. <laughs> but I'm hearing, again, it's the integration of everything we've been working on. Integration of... <sighs> I'm hearing your birthright. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Oh, where is that? Oh. Go into more of the trust your intuition and this divine guidance. Okay. Please let me know too if this message resonates with you in some way. I'm even seeing how it it affects me personally. Wow, you guys. <laughs> Excuse me. We got the world cosmos. This in this deck, this is oh, this this card always brings me chills because it's this huge culmination of unity consciousness of this bigger picture that we can't put into words, but it's happening, it's our destiny, it's what we're here. Again, that's why I'm hearing that birthright came through and they're not joking. It's this literal opening of our wings, opening of our heart, opening of our minds. Like how this lady's head is literally the world or it's an extension, right? We're seeing how we can serve, how we can be more connected to the unity of our own consciousness by how we speak to ourselves. We've got the Ace of Voices again. So more owls coming in, bringing truth, connecting to our intuition, the mind, downloads happening. So I'm hearing the signs, the divine guidance. It's going to be so in your face that it's like an owl coming right at you. <laughs> it's like a pyramid appearing. It's like the world being so interconnected with you that you're just like, you can't make this shit up. Like, what the hell? <laughs> well, oh. Yeah, we got the page of voices. So it's starting this new way of being, seeing yourself, this new terrain that you're traversing. It's happening. And it's okay to take time to integrate. It's okay to not rush it. If we rush, we're going to miss the signs. We're going to miss the synchronicities. We're going to miss the guidance. We're going to also be maybe less in our body and more in trying to do and get done. So take time to integrate, to hear your inner wisdom, the four of voices. We got the temperance card, massive healing. And this came below all of the trust your intuition, divine guidance. This is literally, I'm hearing the, wow. <sighs> Something's happening in the heart right now, you guys. I'm hearing this is the ultimate shift of generational trauma in the way of healing. Healing our phases, healing. I'm hearing specifically the feminine generational pain. Wow. This is big, guys. And I'm hearing this is happening for all of humanity, not just the feminine energies or gender, however you want to look at it, but I'm seeing it in the way of it's just frequency, right? We're having healing happening for everyone in that side of the femininity. Ooh, we got the strength card. So you're going to, as we allow for more softness, for more integration, for healing, we, have, we strengthen ourselves. We This is so much major arcana, you guys. Like, literally, ace and a page and three major arcana. It's... There's so much energy happening right now. 
what we used to think, like I'm seeing this lion being tamed in this way of, even in terms of, we'll use the example of this generational trauma, when there's healing happening, we don't fear the lion. We don't fear our own strength even. We don't fear being manipulated, I'm hearing too, very specifically. Because it's almost like this lion used to scare us, scare the shit out of us. Because it wasn't, didn't seem like it was on our side. It was even, I'm hearing, ways that our strength was being manipulated. Wow. Ways of what we thought was our intuition, thought were guidance, but it was actually for someone else's benefit and not for the collective good. Whew. And there's balance being restored on a collective level, even in our molecular structure, our strength, our healing, our temperance, our patience with ourselves and the journey and what that continues to look like on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're having insights and downloads of how to create from this new way of consciousness. It's almost like the clouds are clearing in our minds, in our eye, mind's eye, I'm hearing too, of how we see the world, how we see our generations, how we see the programming. Wow. I'm getting a huge emphasis on taking a break, though, too, to integrate. And see how the, then the figure or the photo, the... The card, oh, I can't speak. This person is looking into its own reflection, looking into the inner galaxies of themselves. You are magical. You are meant to be here to dive into this pool of consciousness that you are to create, to trust the waters of your own emotions and I know that can be scary when we're asked to go deeper and deeper into our emotions into our consciousness into our I'm hearing pain the generational stuff that's not everyone wants to look at in our own family dynamic right hardly any people really want to go into it because it's like why would you open the door to a beast that we don't understand, that has been painful, that has made us feel weak, but it's really, when you look at it, when we see it, when we give it space to breathe and be, we, we strengthen and we become one with the darkness, with that part that felt, I'm hearing incomprehensibly, connected to ourselves. I don't know, take that as you will. But I'm getting this feeling of like, usually with the shadow aspects, or I'm even hearing like entities, we, we, we deem them something else other outside of ourselves, or we're losing our strength, we're losing our control, but really it's aspects of ourselves that are fragmented. And when we connect to all the aspects, we find more ways of manifesting a whole new reality. We plant the seeds, we see it flourish because we're trusting this new way of connecting to our strengths, to our visions, to the collective, to our intuition. Hmm. <sighs> wow. Anything else we need to know? <laughs> this feels like such a massive reading today for this week. Got the queen of inspiration more guide like again the guidance will be so like look at her third eye pulsating right here and her just trusting and looking into the sun and maybe a cheetah is that a cheetah yeah or a leopard maybe they're a guide of yours and you're connecting to them i'm hearing trust what you're feeling through the intuitive state it's this calmness that comes through. It's the quiet voice. It's the, the inner reflection that brings us peace, that brings us even. I'm hearing solace. Mm. Yeah, because we're expanding simultaneously as we're seeing the dark reflection of the light. 
I'm seeing all these foxes too. Maybe there's another spirit guide animal for you to connect with or a sign as your guidance comes through. If you feel connected to this reading, to what's coming in. <sighs> Anything else? I'm hearing too, the more we can play, the more we have fun, the more again our power just expands again we're getting this twin energy with the full moon and i believe the capricorn full moon is next week so maybe all you capricorns are getting even more downloads into your self you don't have to be a capricorn for that to happen either oh we get another major arcana of the awakening yeah so our hearts are definitely opening up to new frequencies, than, newer than ever before, I'm hearing, like, in this way. It's, like, the frequency I'm feeling from this reading, it feels like it triggers every ounce of our DNA to release what is ready to be washed clean all of the emotions that are ready it's almost like i'm seeing these um it's like a drain pipe and there's pieces that are stuck on the sides or even stuck at the bottom of the opening of the drain but yet it's it's being cleansed and they're like ready to be washed and cleansed and purified a new awakening, a new level of awakening is happening for us through this unity consciousness, through our intuition. So maybe you're at sites and you're all the clear energy for you, clear cognizance, clairvoyance, clear sentient. It's all opening up even more. Yee, so exciting. <laughs> oh, wow. I hope this reading supported you in some way for this week along your journey. And if it doesn't resonate, I would recommend um, maybe coming back to it if you feel guided. Maybe this energy is coming up for you. The energies, even though we connect it to the time frame, time is not real. <laughs> it is an illusion, right? And your healing journey is not linear. So this can happen at any time frame, maybe this has even already happened and it's just a confirmation that you're getting really fine-tuned with your intuition. So these guidances that you'll see will just keep reaffirming that you've already done the work of this purification of the healing of your emotions and that you're I'm hearing already acting from this place of an upgrade and you've already been doing the work with the generational stuff or just your inner workings connecting to the unity consciousness from a place of love and also understanding of the darkness guiding yourself through these codes through these that intuitive energy discernment and creating from that place the three is all about creativity the trinity of oneness i'm hearing to that unity consciousness mind body soul Eek. Beautiful. All right, loves. I'll see you next week for our Capricorn full moon reading. And check out uh, this week's channeling. If you feel guided to it, it will be with the Palladians. And I will also be having um, my very first podcast interview with a beautiful friend of mine who is a transformational coach. And I just ask her about her journey and how she's transformed her life to be even a transformational coach. So if you feel guided to that, that will be out this Friday, the 14th. And yeah, I love you all so much. Take care. Bye.